Hi guys, <clears throat> we made it to Wednesday. So today it's another one of those basic assignments. Um, let me share the screen. When you open up the folder, this is what you'll see. Uh, you have a discussion board. It's based off of the Descartes passages that you read, parts one and part four. Uh, so there's some expectations to keep in mind when you're creating this discussion board with your classmates. Uh, so, <clears throat> in the resulting conversations, when responding with evidence, because you have to provide validation of your observations, it is important for you to mention which section you have taken the material, from which section you've taken the material. This keeps you organized as well as the other students organized. This is a part of research. You always wanna leave back trails where evidence exists. Because this is an ongoing academic discussion and you're proving the validity of your opinion, you have to show where you found the evidence. So keep in mind, because Descartes structured his writings within multiple sections, the different chapters, he titled them as parts, okay? You are only to read two parts. You as the critic must note the chapter number as well as the page number in your in-text citations. So for example, when you write out a quick commentary, there's two ways you can do this. So starting number one, you mention the number in the opening sentences, meaning the part number. So I marked it in blue. In part one of Descartes' book, I read the following. From my childhood, childhood, they fed me books. And because people convinced me that these could give me clear and certain knowledge of everything useful in life, I was extremely eager to learn them. And there's my in-text citation that was on page two. So anybody seeing this commentary will know the page two is within part one of the full book. That's one way of doing it. Another way, if you dislike having these overt signal phrases, you can um, state it simply like this. Descartes mentions that quote, and it's the same quote, from my childhood, they fed me books, okay? And here in the in-text citation, the closing in-text citation, it shows a Roman numeral one for part one and the page number two. So it's Roman numeral one, period two. And then you have your closing in stop, your period. So those are the two ways to do it. When I'm looking at your discussion boards, I'm looking for in-text citations whenever you quote Descartes. And you're gonna either tell me in the closing in-text citation, the, the part number there, or you will give me a signal phrase. So again, these conversations represent high-end academic exchanges of information. You want to use the keywords we've discussed in class, the ones that I've um, provided you with PDFs. So in this case, there's only two possible keywords that should pop up, at least one of them, in your conversations. So there's the word didactic or the word pariah. These will apply according to the flow of information that you're exchanging with the other students. The other thing to keep in mind, this is a informal academic conversation, okay? Sounds like an oxymoron, informal academic conversation. You are allowed to use first person pronouns. So you will say, I see this in the text, or we as readers should acknowledge that Descartes believes blah, 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 okay? So again, I, me, we, our, us, those type of pronouns are permitted. If this was an academic research paper, on the other hand, you would not be using first person pronouns. Okay, this is a conversation. 
Okay, so this is the expectations. This sheet is the expectations. The assignment itself is right here. So like the other um, discussion boards we've used in the past, here's an outline of the information. Descartes' proposition, cogito ergo sum, became the cornerstone of modern philosophy. And that's Latin, of course, and it means I think, therefore I am with your classmates, use the provided moderated discussion board, exchange ideas, observations, and opinions regarding the validity of Descartes' main argument. So his main argument for the, this whole writing, series of writing, I think, therefore I am. And you're looking at the evidence he provides you that defends that comment. This actual comment comes in part four but you need part one in order to understand the references in part four. Um, so you'll use one or two quotes from the translated text. Whenever you quote, show in text citations. Okay, so there's two items you want to discuss with everyone. One, do you see a flaw in his reasoning? You can agree or you can disagree. You won't be right or wrong. I'm just saying you can agree or disagree. Explain why. Two, how did you react to the idea that lower animals do not have souls? Both of these are value claims. Whenever you have the conversations, you'll use evidence from the text. Okay, You will use in-text citations from the text. And I've already broken down how you cite the page, the part number and the page number. Um, so same logic as before. You're going to post one comment as an academic paragraph. Okay, your overall view answering those two questions. And then later you'll respond to two other people in complete sentences. If you use evidence, when you talk to the other people, you have to give in-text citation, okay? So you're responding to other people. The goal here is for the entire class as a whole is going to keep the academic discussion ongoing until there is either a resolution to any disagreements or a concession between everybody. I will be moderating. I'll be keeping pace with you, okay? Um, and here is the rubric. It's a basic rubric. Um, I'm double checking in my head if there's anything else I need to add. If you have any questions, of course, as I've always said, let me know. Um, and this should be easy. It's not an outright debate, it's a discussion, okay? Just keep that in mind, it's not a debate, just a discussion. Um, so uh, that's it for today. I'll be checking in with you guys. Uh, just let me know how it goes, how you feeling. Be safe.